Hi, I'm Jenny Gilbert. I'm from the Association of Ontario Midwives and I'm a research specialist. Hi, I'm Susanna Bennett and I'm also a research specialist at the Association of Ontario Midwives. The AOM, the Association of Ontario Midwives, is the professional organization representing midwives and the profession of midwifery in Ontario. The AOM advocates for the professional interests of midwives and for the Ontario model of midwifery care and promotes midwifery as an integral aspect of the healthcare system. A midwife is a registered health professional who provides primary care to women with low risk pregnancies. Midwives provide care through pregnancy, labor and birth and provide care to both mother and baby during the first six weeks following birth. There are almost 700 registered midwives in Ontario serving communities in 100 clinics across the province. Midwives have privileges at most Ontario hospitals. Since midwifery became a regulated health profession in 1994, 150,000 babies have been born under the care of midwives. Midwives currently care for 12% of women and newborns in Ontario every year, and that number is rising. Postpartum hemorrhage is a complication associated with the third stage of labor, the stage of labor associated with the birth of the placenta. Approximately 140,000 births take place in Ontario annually. Assuming rates of incidence similar to the Canadian rate of, for 2010, over 8,600 Ontario women will experience a postpartum hemorrhage each year. Given that midwives attend around 12% of births in Ontario, over 1,000 midwifery clients will experience a postpartum hemorrhage each year. While developing our new clinical practice guideline on postpartum hemorrhage, we discovered a significant research gap. While there is plenty of research on treating a postpartum hemorrhage as it is happening, there is not much research on how best to support women in the days and weeks following their postpartum hemorrhage. The research that is available suggests that women feel isolated and alone after a postpartum hemorrhage and are hungry for resources that would help them feel supported in their recovery. We've already begun involving midwifery clients in our, in our clinical practice guideline pro development process. Harnessing this interest of midwifery consumers who are keen to give back, we will interview midwifery clients who have experienced a postpartum hemorrhage. We will look to these clients to share what they feel would be useful to other women. What kind of supports do they wish they had? What information did they lack about their recovery? And what would they tell others in their situation? So we aim to improve women's recovery from postpartum hemorrhage by minimizing their sense of isolation and addressing the existing lack of information. Based on our consultations with midwives and midwifery clients, the resources we develop for women who've experienced postpartum hemorrhage will address how they might feel in the days and weeks after the event and how and when to seek support. For this project, our final products will be uh, video interviews with midwifery clients that have experienced a postpartum hemorrhage, also video interviews with other um, midwives and other healthcare providers such as a lactation consultant, um, a perinatal mental health worker, or a public health nurse. In addition to the videos, there'll also be written materials, one aimed at midwifery consumers and one aimed at midwives themselves to help them improve their care for women who've experienced postpartum hemorrhage. And all these resources will be freely available on the AOM's website.